Hello my dear friends, welcome to the money game. The rules of the game are simple. There will be seven games, each rooted in the seven deadly sins. Pride, lust, gluttony, sloth, envy, wrath, and greed. These challenges will not be easy. The only way to succeed is to become part of a hive and then sever yourself from it. At the end of each challenge, one of you will walk away with a cash prize. It is vital for your success that you use collective intelligence to solve these riddles until the final moment when it is every man for himself. Most importantly, strap yourselves in. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the money game. If you don't know me, get to know me. What's up, YouTube? What's up, Kyber Crew? And what's up, Red Audience, UK audience out there? As you can see, I'm now currently reacting to Ren Money Game Part 3. And the clip you just saw at the beginning, people, is the, is the explanation, is the rundown, long story short, of what this is all about. Now, I believe this is the final piece to the puzzle, or it's just the final thing that Ren's released since the game might be over or are currently still going on. I don't really know. I believe it's over. I believe it's over. But um, whether I react to part two or part one, I don't know if they're music videos or tracks, but this is part three. But yeah, just so you can understand what this is about. That is, um, what is it? Something that Ren launched roughly about two weeks ago. Yeah. Um, explaining the money games. Yeah. If you don't really know what's going on too much about it, about it please go check out Ren's channels, all on his community post. Um, but yeah, that's the long story short of it. So let's get into this track. Let's see what it's about. People, if you want to see more of my face or more of Ren music, people subscribe, hit that notification button. We are moving slow. I'm not going to lie. We are moving slow. A few reactions I have done. Yes, they haven't been that fantastic. And I know we haven't done a lot of Halloween reactions, but people, please double down on me. Like I'm doubling down on myself. Like I keep on putting these reactions out and keep on being active as best as I can and as hard as I can. The ball's in your court. If you want to see this family, this person grow and finally give back to you and change our lives, let's get to 9K subscribers, people, at the end of this month. Fingers crossed we can actually do it. 10K by the end of this year because I know that's happening. I know that's happening. We just need to keep pushing ourselves. I know it's a bit of a slower one now, but let's keep fighting it. Let's keep fighting, man. Um, Yeah, headphones on. Let's get it. No, the three, no, the two, no, the one. Let's press play. Oh my god, I just realised this is nearly a 10 minute video. Oh my god! Nearly a 10 minute video, Ren! That looks quite cool actually. <laughs> This is a story.
kind of gets you thinking because there's another person now obviously it's a samuel and ren video because another person replaced him as ren went up to the mirror wearing the same costume wearing the same like mask well i don't know what it got around her face but anyway it's like he's never left do you get what i'm saying it's like that person on the piano never theoretically left and that's still ren playing but then Ren's like actual body, it's like, a, you know, when the spirit comes out your body, your body's still doing something, but your spirit's walking around. I think they try to do like an adaptation of that, like Ren's spirit's walking around. So the Ren you see in that mirror, who's about to start singing, is actually um, the spirit of Ren. But one on the piano is the physical body of Ren playing. But obviously you can't do that. So they have to do what they can do in real life and reality. So that's what I think that they've just done here. That's what my concept is. If it's not, then I have no idea, but that's what I think. you a story about a boy named Jimmy. One years old and his first words were mine, mine, Jimmy. Two years old he was walking, three years old walking quickly. Four years old he was running round the pavements of his city. Five years old and his daddy told him, listen here son, you gotta learn to be a man. A man he works for what he wants. Six years old and he's reading writing, top of the bunch. And when he's seven, his progression made him student number one. Eight years old and he's praised for unusual grades. Nine, his parents paid for private school to nurture the flame. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, he ascends and ascends. His daddy tells him, son, money is the means to all ends. Fourteen, solving complex mathematical equations at fifteen. IQ 150, still L. 16, he develops complex software code that detects weaknesses in cybersecurity protocols. That I'm trying to understand it. I'm trying to understand it. Do you think he's just talking about society? Like, he's not talking about a particular individual, but he has to obviously reference a person within this society. So, aka being a young lad being born in 2023, and as years go by, or maybe like early 2020s. Early 2000s, and as the years go by, he's obviously becoming this person that obviously been influenced by society or the pressure of the family or the pressure by the environment, the atmosphere. Do you get what, do you get what I'm saying? Is this an interpretation of what society is like? And it's just describing it, how people in this day and age would actually grow. And then obviously what they become when they're older. Do you think that's what he's talking about? I'm trying to like, understand why he's, he's speaking like this. I don't really get it. But yeah, you know what I mean? The whole money games, I never really got. He ascends and ascends, his daddy tells him, son, money is the means to all ends. 14, solving complex mathematical equations at 15, IQ 150, still elevating. 16, he develops complex software code that detects weaknesses in cybersecurity protocols. 17, and he sells his vision, keeping the share. Not yet an adult, but he's practically a millionaire. 18, and his daddy tells him, now you're you're a man. This world don't give a damn about you, so take all that you can. 19, he turns a profit, stocks and shares, invest in product. 20, double down deposits. 21, his income rockets. 22, he learns the truth is just an obstacle to wealth. If you manipulate the data, then the lie will sell itself. 23, a life of luxury, crystal and cocaine. 24, he makes the Forbes list, they're applauding his name. 25, and his daddy tells him, listen here, son, while you're sitting in that palace, that don't mean that you one. 26, a business shift, he switches business to arms He's 27, dealing nuclear and shells in Iran 28, inside the Senate, money bought him a seat He's 29, a role of counsel in the president's suite Now he's 30, his daddy says you're losing the race You're just a servant to the king, not even in second place 31, a big manoeuvre for his daddy's approval Moving imports over borders from the exports out of Cuba 32, moving grams, growing kilos a tonne He's 33, filling warehouses with powder and guns 34, turf war with nobody to stop it Blind eye from the popo inside of his pocket
35. He gets the call. I'm sorry, son. There's your father. Had a heart attack. I'm sorry, he's gone. 36. Getting pissed off. Abusing his product. 37. Eyes glazed. This position demonic. 38. With a prostitute. A moment of passion. Heating up a silver spoon and then chasing the dragon. 39. Getting reckless and hungry for power. Daddy's words are still driving him to kill and devour. Makes a move against the cartel, but the strategy's flawed. They retaliate and leave him in a hospital ward. A bullet buried in his vertebra and one in his leg. The doctor to size and says I don't think you'll be walking again. Fuck. A part of me paused for a second. I thought he might have been talking about himself. Then I'm like, nah, he can't because now he's going up. He obviously Ren's not 30. He's not like 35 and stuff like that. But damn, guess you think? What is he talking about? I think he's talking about society. Let me tell you a story about a boy named Jimmy He was 40 and he cursed the words Mine, mine, gimme 41 he wasn't walking 42 not walking quickly 43 never running round the pavements of his city 44 inside a palace Love the repeat, love the repeat of the words Love the repeat of the words, bro Yeah, love the way he just brought himself back in Saying the same thing that he said from the beginning Because bro, he's basically back to square one Jimmy's back to square one, he can't walk no more Like you're a kid, you can't walk no more My bad, when you're like a baby, you can't walk Now, as of, now he's in this situation he can't walk, so he's just repeating himself. Oh, bro, outstanding. Outstanding. Let me tell you a story about a boy named Jimmy. He was 40, and he cursed the words, mine, mine, gimme. 41, he wasn't walking. 42, not walking quickly. 43, never running round the pavements of his city 44, inside a palace with a mountain of gold But those riches turn to rubble when perspective evolves Weighing heavy on his conscience is the value of gold Lamborghini for a life, trading money for souls Jimmy followed the code inside the land of the free Put your hand inside the cookie jar, take more than you need And his example is exaggerated versions of me And it's a version of him and it's a version of she And it's a version of you There's no escaping the blame The way we live is parasitic <laughs> I would have brought our violin yeah. Oh, sorry man Oh my god, that person is playing that violin Oh my god da 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 What? da 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 Oh, bro I'm so, Oh my god, I'm so invested by the rhythm I'm losing track of the words Sorry, oh my god, bro, that da 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 oh my god. Beyond his conscience is the value of gold. <gasps> Lamborghini for a life, trading money for souls. Jimmy followed the code inside the land of the free. Put your hand <laughs> inside the cookie jar, take more than you need. And his example is exaggerated versions of me. And it's a version of him. And it's a version of she. And it's a version of you. There's no escaping the blame. The way we live is parasitic. Fuck the money and fame. Call the music. This isn't entertainment. This is real life. The way we live is lunacy. Community, it declines. Hyperpolarized, always fighting, then we divide. Truth is less important than the money that we designed. Money's an invention. Politics from our invention. They all come from people's ideas. Did I mention? Borders an invention. Law and order fuel the tension. It leads to people killing each other. My solution.
facts, bro. That was facts, bro. Everything is subject to change. We could build utopias if individuals were taught to use their brains. But if we teach kids in schools to always be sheep and put themselves before the herd, if there's more money for me, yeah. then there's no future I see where the humans survive with parasites inside a petri dish with cannibal minds. Mm. Mold will grow upon the surface and consumes till it dies. Mm. And our fate could be the same without this story to the wise. Mm. Forty-five, Jimmy comes home out of the rain, soaking wet upon a wheelchair, drinking the game. He is everything he wants, he is fortune and fame. He's a fortunate fool with an unfortunate fate, with a forty-five caliber aimed at his brain. Forty-five, a fitting number, cause his age is the same. Mm. Here's the words of his father, it's such a damn shame. Then he presses on the trigger of a money game. Mmm. Mmm. Facts, bro. He's the word of his father. Ugh. You have an hour this week. Bro, you can learn a hundred songs on the piano man. by learning just four chords. These. Facts, bro. He's the voice of his father, bro. Falls into the whole money game. I, it's a double entendre, people. I think from what I'm gathering from all of this, I'm correct. From my understanding, <clears throat> well, from what he's explained, I mean, it is about society and it is about the way an individual will grow up in this particular world. And unfortunately, we have fallen into the path of where money revolves around everything. It's always been a thing. Like money's always made the world go round. But I think it's more heightened now, more, more of a problem. But I think it's more of a problem because things are just more expensive. Things are being more, yeah. In the Western culture, I don't know what it's like. Actually, take that back. In the British culture, in the English culture, in the UK, like Wales, or also, as well as Scotland, um, including obviously England. I don't know what it's like in America. I don't know what it's like over there and all like Europe, um, Germany, France. Um, I don't know what it's like outside of those sort of areas and countries. But in the UK, everything's becoming a lot more expensive and the wages are not going up. So then reality, unfortunately, falls down to money. So then the money is what makes the world go around. So people are so forcefully or trying to like reach or trying to gain more money. And people are trying to focus on a whole money point. But, but that's because we can't even feed ourselves. Everything's so expensive. It's so hard for us to feed ourselves because our wages are not going up. But the, all this stuff that, like, you see housing, food, like, list goes on, man. It's just going up and up and up and up and up. That's why it's fallen into this world. Um, as well as social media is a massive influence about it. And people can gain so much money from social media. So, like, there's so many people trying to jump on that bandwagon. Even, like, I've fallen into it as well. Like trying to jump into this whole content creating um, just to better their life, innit? It's, it's the way forward now, especially these younger people as well as getting into it. Because, bro, this normal life where you're working this basic nine to five ain't the same as it was like years ago. Bro, the wages are just, they ain't going up. People need to figure out different ways so they can obviously have a roof above their head, food and water. Um, but yeah, double entendre as in the fact that he's obviously playing this whole money game game series that he's currently doing and obviously i believe it's finished hence on like so whoever wins in these challenges people get money so it's a game that he's making it's obviously a friendly kind of like bout but then at the end of it someone gets money that's a just that's just a money game but then emphasizing the money game concept of what the western culture is like with what i just explained about how things people are so physically like or literally trying to focus on getting more money um so yeah it's a double entendre and that sort of stuff. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. But it's the world we live in. Take that back. It's not even a world we live in. 
I don't know what it's like in Africa. I don't know what it's like in Russia. I don't know what it's like in China, the east side of the country, the south side of the country. I don't know. I don't know what it's like in Australia. But what Ren's explaining in this track is what it's like now in a Western culture, what it's like in America and UK. This is what's happening. And it don't, do not be like, this is what's happening with the world. Because that's not, that's, not, that's not the concept here. That's not what's actually happening with the world. It's just happening with the Western culture. It's evolving into this parasitic kind of thing where you're only thinking about yourself, where it's only about money, where it is only about becoming the best of the best, this individuality. But what, what, what can you do? I don't, as I said, I don't know what it's like in America, but in the UK, they're not bringing up wages. It's not going up. Everything's becoming too expensive. People are struggling. Some people are struggling, struggling to feed their like, own kids and stuff like that. It's, it's crazy. But this is deep, man. But a whole bit at the end, bro. Um, yeah, bro. Whew. That fire... Those strings! Oh, those strings! Bro, that is all me. Parasitic, fuck the money and fame. No, 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 let's go back. Bro. Let's just go back for a second, bro. 44 Listen, inside bro. a palace those with strings. a mountain of gold. But those riches turn to rubble when perspective evolves. Weighing heavy on his conscience is the value of gold. Lamborghini for a life, trading money for soul. Doing this. Jimmy followed the code inside the land of the free. Put your hand <laughs> inside the cookie jar, take more than you need. And his example is exaggerated versions of me. And it's a version of him. And it's a version of she. And it's a version of you. There's no escape in the blame. The way we live is parasitic. Fuck the money and fame. Call the music. Bro, whoever's playing that violin, I don't know who it is out of the two. Because I know it's not the, I know it's not that bass one. I know it's not that. I don't know if it's that person on the right or that person on the left. But that's da 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 da. Hey, da 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 da. Oh my bro, that is me. That's pull my heart, bro. Someone please take that, sample it, make it into a banger, bro. If I had the magical touch of doing stuff like that, I would, I would try to find that. Takes Ren's vocal out of it, and I would I would manipulate that sound, bro. Big oh, da -da 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 -da. oh my god. Alright, yeah. this is my reaction over in it. Let me know your thoughts on this reaction and what I said. Um, but yeah, I don't speak for any, anyone else in any other country. I only speak for UK, but that's what's currently like at the moment. So that's what Ren's speaking about, and I think it's quite similar in America, man. But I'm over now. Comment below. Subscribe, yeah? And I'll, <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Peace.